Hello everyone, this is Casey with ITAP POS. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today we're going to be taking a look at some features and functions available for coffee shops in ITAP POS. Let's dive in. You'll start your day by clocking into the system with your assigned PIN. Once you're clocked in, you're ready to start inputting orders. Our coffee and espresso categories include blended drinks, non-espresso drinks, and specialty espresso drinks. All of your categories appear at the top of the screen, or you can click the little down arrow to view all the various categories available. Let's take a look at what we have available for specialty espresso. Jerry decides to get an iced white chocolate mocha for his coworker. Simple. I'll select the white chocolate mocha from the menu, and from there, the system will prompt me to select modifiers for the drink size, any additional flavors, and so on and so forth. So we went ahead and selected iced with a 20 ounce. For any modifiers that don't require a selection, I can simply click through the headers of each modifier group, or I can just hit the done button below. Jerry's other coworker isn't a coffee kind of person, so we'll go with something from the non-espresso drinks instead. He'll go with the organic loose leaf tea, and before we pick anything else, we have to pick the size of the drink. Let's go with the 16 ounce tea. Next we have to choose from our excellent selection of loose leaf teas. Before I make a selection, you can see that this particular modifier group only applies to organic loose leaf teas. An awesome thing about our system is that you can have a modifier group apply to either a single item, an entire subcategory of a group, or the entire group itself. Let's go with a classic Earl Grey loose leaf tea, and we'll select hot for the temperature. We don't need to add any dairy or flavored syrups here, so I'm going to go ahead and click the done button. Lastly, Jerry is going to order a blended drink. Let's head over to the blended drink subcategory. From our tasty selection of blended drinks, we'll go with the caramel macchiato. First things first, we'll pick the size of the drink. We excluded the temperature modifier group from this subcategory because we already know it's all blended with ice. Jerry's coworker is lactose intolerant, so we'll go with the soy milk substitute. Note that it is a 75 cent additional charge for a 16 ounce drink for soy milk. And we'll finally add a few pumps of chocolate and caramel to further enhance the flavor of the drink. Recall that the soy milk is 75 cents additional charge for a 16 ounce drink. Now watch what happens when I change the drink over from a 16 ounce to a 20 ounce. The soy milk is now $1 instead of 75 cents. In iTab, there is unparalleled flexibility when it comes to your menu. Since you need to add more soy milk to a 20 ounce drink, then we need to charge a little bit more as well. In this example, we have a tiered pricing on a single modifier, being non-dairy options, that vary in relation to the size of the drink. Even though we grouped all dairy and non-dairy modifiers together, not all of these options have an additional charge. If you go with the standard dairy option, such as whole milk, there is no additional charge for it. In summary, you can have a variable modifier pricing on an entire modifier group, or only the select modifiers within a group. Our customer is ready to pay, and he hands me the total in cash. So I'm going to hit the Payments button to bring up the Payments window. Jerry's been a longtime customer, and he's racked up quite a bit of loyalty points that he can use towards his order. Right now, he has $220 worth of loyalty points. However, our loyalty program only allows you to use $15 per order per day. ITAB has built-in loyalty programs, allowing you to set up the rules for accruing points as well as how they're redeemed. Let's go ahead and click the loyalty button and you can see that a $15 amount has been subtracted from his loyalty points. He still has a balance of $4.21 and he's going to pay the rest of that with cash. So I'm going to go ahead and press the cash button and now the balance is fulfilled. Once I hit the submit button, it takes us to our receipt screen where we can either text, email or print the receipt copy. And that's it. Thank you for watching. For more information about our products and services, call us today. Start your free two-week trial by visiting itabpos.com.